let's count the number of switching functions possible so before counting the number of switching functions let's talk about the number of functions in general assume that we have a set a in which the number of elements is n and we have a set b in which the number of elements is m okay then how many functions are possible from set a to set b see here every element in a has m possibilities which means every element a can be mapped on to any one of these m possibilities but only one at a time right therefore the first element of a has m possibilities and the second element of a again it will have m possibilities right so every element of a has m possibilities the first element has m the second element has m the third element has m possibilities so on the nth element of uh, a also has m possibilities therefore how many functions are possible from a to b the set a to set b is m into m into so on this much therefore it is m power n these many functions are possible just remember it now we shall derive how many functions are possible if i have uh, let us say i have a function switching function if i have n variables n boolean variables boolean variables means they can take only two values n boolean variables are there then how many boolean functions are possible how many boolean functions are possible okay now observe this it is a kind of common matrix question see if i have n boolean variables what does it mean every variable can take only two values either 0 or 1 then how many boolean functions boolean functions means they are saying that even a function will also take only two values 0 or 1 right so if i have n boolean variables which means 1 2 3 4 so on n boolean variables then i am going to construct the table first then how many rows does this table have how many rows will it have depending on the number of variables and the number of values now each variable has two two values possible right therefore 2 into 2 into 2 into so on n times therefore the total number of rows that could be present in this table is 2 power n right these many rows are present and now and now think about it this is a function some function right so how many functions are possible so every row can be given a value you know every row can take uh, two values which means okay how to how to explain this is now the total number of elements in one set is 2 power n and these many elements have to be mapped to other set which contains only two values which means see this now one set is containing total number of elements of 2 power n then this set has to be matched to other set where only two elements are present which is 0 and 1 now compare this if i have n elements here and m elements here what is the total number of functions m power n similarly here if i have 2 power n elements here and two elements here then how many functions are possible 2 power 2 power n right so so if i have n boolean variables then the number of boolean functions possible is this much let's now just change it a bit a small bit let us assume that instead of n boolean variables s yes, i have n variables only n boolean variables let us say n ternary variables ternary variables and then how many boolean functions are possible so what does it mean it means that the value of n n can take i mean every variable can take uh, every n ternary variables ternary variables which means every variable can take now three values 0 1 2 right so if every variable can take three values then uh, how many variables are there n variables and everyone is going to have three chances therefore how many total elements will be present in this question in this question the total number of elements that will be present as input is 3 power n right therefore one set is containing 3 power n elements and they are saying that the function is boolean function boolean function means function takes only two values therefore 
here it is two values then how many functions are present totally 2 power 3 power n isn't it 2 power 3 power n so now let me tell you one more you know generic question assume that assume that hmm, I have n KRE functions, KRE variables so what does it mean the number of variables are n but each variable can take k values right and then how many MRE functions MRE functions means the function can take m values if I have n variables each is of each can take k values then and if function can take m values then how many functions are possible here right then how many MRE functions are possible then how can you solve it is first let's construct the table so in order to construct the table putting up all the elements inputs here I have 1 2 3 so on n elements and each element is having a k, k possibilities therefore totally how many rows do I get I get a total of k power n rows these many rows are there therefore one set is containing k power n elements and the other set the function values are it is a MRE function which means the function can take m values therefore other, val other set is containing m values then how many functions are possible from this set to this set it is m power k power n so what does it mean the number of variables will be here and the number of uh, you know type of variables right carry type of variables will be here and the type of functions will be here if it is MRE function right so in case if it is boolean boolean it is 2 2 right in case if it is ternary variable it is 3 boolean means 2 right so that depends on what type of uh, variable and what type of function we are using got it so this is how we can find out the total number of functions possible so just for the sake of example if i have if i have just uh, two variables two variables which are both are boolean then how many uh, and, and the functions are boolean functions then how many boolean functions are possible which means like this assume that i have just two variables i have just two variables a and b right if i have two variables both are boolean and then the function is boolean then how many functions are totally possible with two variables which are boolean i have two power two rows isn't it therefore each row can take either i mean each value can take two combinations therefore 2 power 2 power 2 even if you substitute in this formula you are going to get 2 power 2 power 2 then how much is that 2 power 4 which is nothing but 16 functions 16 functions are possible with just two variables right so what are they if you would like to see that 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 right so one function is let us say f1 is 0 0 0 0 null function f2 is 0 0 0 1 what is this it is and right so a dot b so this represents f2 represents and f3 is 0 0 1 0 so what is this function this is uh, a prime plus b that is nothing but a implies b it is a a implies b f3 right f4 is 0 0 1 1 right so what is this function f4 is simply a so whatever is the value of a f4 got it right and next one is f5 f5 is 0 1 0 0 it is nothing but a prime b oh already we got a prime b i think we got a b prime it is a prime b so previously it was uh, you know a implies b and it is okay you can you can just check it let's not give any names i think it is confusing uh, i i didn't say it right 
so leave leave about the names we shall see the names later now f6 is how much 0 1 0 1 f7 is 0 1 1 0 f8 is 0 1 1 1 right similarly i have written eight functions in all these eight functions the first element is 0 you can reproduce one more eight functions 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 in all of that you can put this first one as 1 and the remaining you can repeat it therefore we can get 16 distinct functions with just two variables right so now uh, now the question question is like this now what happens is sometimes we have these many 16 different distinct functions which are unique right but then if if we have to write some expression many of the expressions will be same i mean if you convert them to boolean form if you convert convert them to canonical pos or SOS, sop form many of them will be same now we have to identify how many expressions are mapping onto one function are you understanding this we have 16 unique boolean functions right and now many expressions which are mapping expressions to these functions many expressions will lead to the same function therefore one kind of question possible is given two expressions are they equivalent and moreover what is the function they are equivalent to in pos or sop form then we can use this anyway we shall solve many questions on this then you will understand what is the significance of writing all this so with just two variables we are able to get 16 functions what about three variables how many functions do we get 2 power 2 power 3 so what is that 2 power 8 just look at the growth in which the number of functions are growing 2 power 8 the rate at which they are growing is very large isn't it it is not even just exponential it is super exponential exponential is 2 power n and the order in which they are growing is 2 power 2 power n as the number of inputs increase the number of functions are growing exponentially super exponential right okay